Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own maps in the Candy Course Fire game using KME program. So before the, I'm starting the tutorial, I would like to thank two developers who tried to save this game and fix some problems into the, into the game. So I'm really thankful to them. And I made this video immediately to teach Kikin Crossfire fans how to create the maps multiplayer uh, in this story we're going to show you how to create multiplayer maps not a single maps okay so before I will start you have to download the, these two files in the descriptions I just uploaded them using Mediafire Mediafire is the best server Okay, first you have you open the folder basic map editor. Uh, skip all these files. These just these files I just made them because these are just the mods. Okay, it had to be game A E N G. This is kicking across fire mission map editor. This is the English version. English version version is not. A good version because it crashes and you can't ever create your mouse so I uh, just uh, I put it in the folder because in Chinese version the language is you can't understand the, la the language or so you can open the English version and the Chinese version and you can compare and see the words to understand so no need to do anything in the English version. Okay, we have to go to editor. Some people would like to add a, or their own background in the game. Uh, in the game, there is only three backgrounds: is desert, highland, and city. If you want to create your own background, you have to open the image. Convert it to KM files. Open it. Okay, this is the window for the program. Of course, you will it drag uh, a random background or what the background you interested in. So make sure you highlight it, adapted by it. At the mission type, I'm going to select a multiplayer map. And the generation, I don't know what exactly this means. So leave it aside, this will not make any effect. So all you have to do now is try to look for any pictures you want. This is only if you want to select your own background in the game. For example, this. And drag it over here. Close it. Set the smallest size. Uh, th this is something wrong with that program. The size should be like that, not like this. Okay, there's uh, something here I want to teach you about it. If you put the map very large and export it to KM, maybe uh, the program will export it, but it would take a long time. I just ex export this image, it takes 20 minutes. 20 minutes is a long time. So, the tutorial, uh, my tutorial, I will just make it very small because I don't want to waste any more time, okay? This size is the nor a small size. Here are the map size of the pixels. You can see. And when you finish cropping the image, click export to KM and select the output file. For example, we're gonna rename it XXX. Click here. Look here. It's starting exporting. Okay, this would take. Review time, few seconds. 
this tutorial is very important to follow if you would like to make a new maps because King in the Crossfire is very old game and I really like to make new things in this game I'm not like a developer because I have other things to do this is why I am really care about this game ok click ok and there's no need for this program man. let's just close it and this file will appear here this is a kp format kp not the kp ok ok go to again in the editor open kp editor kp editor is a program that uh, is already some KP files has been done by the developer who made this um, program so all you have to do is go to open and uh, go to the China version give it called KME China version and go to library and you see a lot of KP files here and you can do whatever you want for example, I'm gonna do the Highland KB background, okay? And click OK. It will take some time, okay? Don't make any changes for you because the program does not key let you build your own map. So you have to go to save as and rename it to this xxx or whatever you want and click save and close the program okay now we have finished everything here i don't think there's something else we have to do over here okay this is the kb file this is we we will i will show you how to do this and this okay open the key a china version and open KME see shine I don't think you will understand anything of it or just you will understand by the pictures okay let me explain something F here F B T H F means file V view T I don't know H help T I think title or something like that. Okay, we just go open F. The first selection is new, and the, and the second one is open. Here in, in in Chinese version, you cannot import any single maps or multiplayer maps. I don't know why exactly. I think. The developer should add this option because sometimes maybe you would change the single modes and make a new maps and upload the game again to the people and they play a new single missions again okay you can open this new or open by clicking here or here it's simple and fast you have to click here Okay, first I'm going to show you how to load KME KP files. Look here. This is the image that you already converted to the KB format. So if you want to load it, just click. Okay. See? This is the image. We have or you can also change the places for the start point and the aircraft gates in multiplayer maps you cannot add any creatures or objects because the, the image does, does not include any of the objects i don't know how to put some objects into into your own image I have no idea about this I'm sorry really 
so all, all you can do is put oil and some cams and water poops that's all what you can do okay um, this is uh this this tutorial if only if you want to load your own background so all you have to do go to file and click here export export okay but I'm not going to do this with the with this image because it's not it's just empty map I don't like that so we close the program again and reopen it because my PC will crash again uh, the program is, is running good with my Windows 7 64 bit it's very good running I think I can go to now open let me explain something here. Here, if you want to change the map size, I'm gonna change this to, for example, first selection is a single map. This is a multiplayer map. I'm gonna choose multiplayer map. And also, you have to load the KB background. This is the KB background. Do we already did it? Or you can all also look at here in the library. There's a lot of them. Okay. But the reason why we have to do the, uh, that the one we already save it as because it includes objects. I think, but I'm not really sure about this. Okay, click open. And click this is yes and this is no put yes this window is shows you the map area and here is a zoom in or zoom out if you want to zoom it's not very complicated application it's very nice here is the list of the objects you would like to add some objects over here there's a lot of objects you can put the bridge volcano the best thing in the object is you, you no need to put tickets or instructions into the objects if you want to make sure that um true just click here do you see this yellow small icons this means no one can get up of the mountain i mean no tank can the tanks should be come over over the mountain not going directly inside You can also add some creatures. No, uh, no, sorry. It's a multiplayer map, not a single map. Here are some options if you want to make it like squares map. Okay, when you finish your job and editing in the map, go to file and click export in English version you cannot export any map only in Windows 1998 and Windows Me sometimes Windows XP but in, in, in new operating system it cannot be export any map ever so I'm gonna me name my okay for example, I will rename it to uh, one, two, three. What you are? Choose any name. And here the uh, the output file. I'm not gonna change it, but it's already will be located in the multi multi machines.
and you click this is yes, this is no. Click yes. Okay, this message shows you the the map has been already been created in the uh, output point. So click OK. Close the program and go to show navigation. Go to library. No, sorry. Go to levels. Go to multi. And this is the map has been appeared here. So if you want to play the map in the game, click highlight them both and click copy. And go to the in the crossfire game where it's located. This one. Go to levels. Okay, there's something important here. Here you have to know. If you put any map here, the game will crash. Uh, when you load, well, when you play the story mode maps. This directory for only story mode and saves game save maps. So if you if you are create a single mission, make sure you make a new folder called custom. If you rename rename it in another word, it will not be loaded by the game, and you can paste it here. Okay, this is for the single maps only so we did a multiplayer map so go multi and paste the map here like this. okay now this is the end of the tutorial and click back and now loot the game sorry but I can't loot the game because I'm recording now so if I got if I open the game, the program will stop recording. I'm sorry. So all you have to do is run the game and then, then go to multiplayer, select host. After that, uh, there is a selection that changes the map and change the selection to on. There's off and on. Change on to see the, to see the map. And I hope they're not gonna be appeared there. I just did it many times and it worked fine with me. Okay guys, thanks for watching. If you have any comments and suggestions, please post a comment and take a look for the other videos in my channel. I'd be glad. And visit Kicking Planet Planet Kicking 2 for more information. Okay, thanks for watching and goodbye. Thank you.